Hello, this is Sal. In today's video, we will be talking about configuring VLANs. VLANs are helpful in the administration of logical groups, allowing members of a group to be easily moved or added. This activity focuses on creating and naming VLANs and assigning access ports to specific VLANs. Here on Switch1, I'll issue the command that displays the VLANs configured by default. On switch one, enable the show VLAN. Here, as you can see, that we have VLAN one by default uh, on the switch, and all the ports are in VLAN one. This is by default. Here, I still need to configure. Uh, I configured the IP addresses for the PCs. Uh, what uh, well, I'll work with you how to configure uh, the PCs and the ports connected uh, from the switches to the PCs on the VLANs are showing here, like PC1 VLAN 10, PC4 VLAN 10, PC2 VLAN 20, uh, 5 with 20 also, PC3 with 30, and PC6 also with 30. What we have here on switch 3 connected the IP phone uh, with the, the PC4. Now, as I showed you here, by default, all interfaces are assigned to VLAN 1. Now, I will verify con connectivity between PCs on the same networks. Here, from PC1, I can ping PC4. 172, that's 16, that's 10, that's 11. And also from PC2, I can ping PC5, that's 20, that's 21, because both are in the same network. And all the ports here are by default on in, uh, VLAN 1. And PC3 can ping PC6. That theory, that theory one. Now, if I try to ping PC one, uh, ping PC five from PC one, it will not go through because it is in a different VLAN twenty dot twenty one. But all of them are in the same VLAN, which is the native VLAN one. Here, the primary benefit of using VLANs are security, cost reduction, higher performance, broadcast storm mitigation, and simpler to manage. Here now, I will uh, create and name VLANs on switch one. Uh, VLAN 10 for admins, VLAN 20 for users, 30 for guests, VLAN 99 for management, and this is the native VLAN and VLAN 50 for voice. Now on switch one, I will shrink this a little bit here so we can see. Uh, on switch one, configure terminal, uh, VLAN 10, I will name this uh, admins, VLAN 20, I will name this users, VLAN 30, I will name this guests, VLAN uh, 99, this is for management, and VLAN 50, this is for, I name it, voice. Now, uh, the command show VLAN brief will only display the VLAN name, status, and associated port on the switch. Here, show VLAN brief after we created the VLANs. As you can see here, uh, VLAN 10 for admins, 20 for users, and uh, 30 for guests, 50 for voice, and 99 for management. Now I'll create the same on uh, switch 2 and switch 3. Enable configure terminal VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. VLAN 30, VLAN 
and VLAN 50 for name it voice. The same I will do also, I'll run this command, show VLAN brief, and showing us the VLANs we configured and with the names. The same I'll do on switch three, enable, sorry about that, VLAN 10, VLAN 20, Thirty VLAN ninety-nine and VLAN fifty. I'll name this voice. Um, also here on switch three I will run the command show VLAN brief and showing us the VLAN we created. Just the same, I created them on switch one and switch two. Now, on switch two, I will assign VLAN the active ports on the switch. Like here, we have port F01, pass Ethernet 01, is with uh, on v for VLAN 10, and F02, 20, F03 for VLAN 30. So on switch two, Configure terminal interface F01, switch port mode access, switch port access. This is for VLAN 10. And the other interface of PC Ethernet 02, mode access, and switch port access uh, PC2 with VLAN 20. Now for PC Ethernet 03, switch port mode access. And this is for VLAN 30. I'll do the same. Assign the VLANs to the active ports on switch 3. Uh, we have port F04 with VLAN 10, F05, VLAN 20, F06 with VLAN 30. Configure terminal, interface F04, access, switch port access VLAN. 10 and the port of pass Ethernet 05 is port mode access, which port access VLAN 20 and pass Ethernet 06, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 30. Here on switch 3. <clears throat> port 04, we have an IP phone connected to the port. We need to assign the voice VLAN to it, as it is shown in the topology. In switch 3, the app 04 interface connects to a Cisco IP phone and PC4. The IP phone contains an integrated a 3 port, 10, 100, uh, this is the speed switch. One port on the phone is labeled switch and one connect to the port of pass Ethernet 04. Another port on the phone is labeled PC and is connected to PC4. The IP uh, phone also has an internal port that connects to the IP phone functions. Here in uh, switch 3, F04, uh, the port of F04 interface must be configured to support user traffic to PC4 using VLAN 10 and voice traffic to the IP phone using VLAN 20. The interface must also enable QoS, equality of service, and trust the class of service, which is COS, values assigned by the IP phone. So how to configure it here back on switch 3? Uh, going back to the interface of pass Ethernet 04, uh, the command goes like this MLS, question mark, QoS, quality of service, and we want to trust this for the uh, COS, class of service. Now, switch port, here we have the 
uh, option for boys for VLAN and boys for VLAN 50. Now let me run this command here on switch 3, show VLAN brief, and showing us here uh, for VLAN 10, we have the active uh, port for it, connected to it, which is uh, FAST Ethernet 04. For the users on F05 here, and for the guest F06, and go back also to VLAN uh, 50, which is voice also for FAST Ethernet 04 here, for VLAN 50, and the same for admin on FAST Ethernet 04. Uh, previously, PCs uh, that share the same network, like uh, PC1, it is the same network as PC4, they were able uh, to ping each other successfully. Now, if I try to ping between PC1 and PC4, here from PC1, ping 172, the 16, the 10, the 11, And this we, we this will not uh, go through. And even if we try to ping from PC two to PC five or PC three to PC six, also the access ports are assigned to the appropriate VLANs. The pings won't won't be successful because the ports between the switches here uh, are still in VLAN one by default, and PC one and PC four are in VLAN ten. So switch one should be configured later with trying to permit connectivity between PCs in the same VLANs, but different switches. To solve this issue and make the PCs able to ping each other, then we must conf configure the ports between the switches as trunk ports. Like here, if you go to switch one, uh, show VLAN, here it's showing us, uh, we have, All the ports are still in VLAN 1 connected to the switch. So the PC here to reach the PC, PC4 to reach the PC, uh, uh, PC1 on this side, uh, because this PC on VLAN 10 and this PC on VLAN uh, 10, but all the ports here are in VLAN 1. So there is no way how it, the traffic can go through. So to solve this issue, we need to configure PC uh, the ports on the switches uh, as trunk ports. Like if I try to ping also PC2, uh, ping 172.16.20.21, the ping will not be successful. To solve this issue, going back to switch 2, uh, interface gig gigabit ethernet 01 switch port mode trunk. so I configured this port on the switch as a trunk and now on switch 2 uh, sorry switch 1 we want these two ports uh, 01 gigabit ethernet 01 and gigabit ethernet 02 as the uh, trunk so on switch 1 uh, configure terminal interface range as a uh, sorry gigabit what interface range gig, uh, the port of gigabit either in zero one and two switch port mode trunk so I configured both these trunk uh, ports on uh, switch one as a trunks and go back now to switch three also the port connected to switch one also we need to configure it as trunk configure terminal uh, interface of gigabit ethernet zero one switch port mode trunk. now going back to switch one So the, these two ports on switch one, we configured them as trunk, and the port connecting 
switch two with the switch one also as a trunk and this part is still you know connecting it is still orange here and it turns into green uh, still. now let's try to ping from pc uh, one to pc4 and now we are able to ping because we configured these the ports on the switch as before they were all in uh, vlan one but now these two ports are no longer in vlan one they are uh, we configured them as trunk so it will uh, the traffic will be able to move from the pc on this side pc1 to pc4 so I hope you learned something from this uh, video. Please, if you like it, uh, in the description of this video, you will find, uh, just download the packet tracer and the walkthrough. It will walk you through uh, step by step everything I did in this uh, video. Please, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and share the video and give me the thumb up. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Have a nice day.